PQ so it turns an angle 65 degrees at the center of a circle. So we've got PQ and it makes an angle 65 degrees. Uh, o, so O being the center, the radius is 4.5 centimeters. Find the arc length PQ and the sector area POQ. Now what we should remember is in fact there are actually two arc lengths. There's this one, this is known as the minor arc and you've got this one here which is known as the major arc. Normally when you're asked a question like this it's finding the minor arc. So it's this red one here. So how do we find the uh, length PQ? Well, what we do is, this is a fraction of the total circumference of the circle, and the fraction is actually the angle divided by 360, 360 degrees, because there's 360 degrees in a circle, times the circumference, which is 2 pi r. So it's that fraction times 2 pi r. So continuing the idea to this example, so the, the r length in this case, PQ, will be equal to 65 over 360, 65 over 360, times 2 pi, times the radius, which is 4.5. So we can put that in straight into our calculator. With the modern calculator, you can put the fraction using the fraction button, and this gives the answer, this calculator gives the term, answer in terms of pi, so it's 13 pi divided by 6. Sorry, by 8. And therefore, that will give me an answer of 5.10508 centimetres, and we wanted the free cylinder figure, so that 5 will make that 0 a 1. So it's 5.11 centimetres to 3 cylinder figures. Now, for the sector area POQ, so what we're doing, we're trying to find this area here. And again, we've got the idea of minor sector and major sector. Normally, you're asked to find the minor sector. Now, what is the area of a circle? Well, it's pi r squared. So it's going to be a fraction of pi r squared. And the fraction is going to be the end angle in the middle, which we call theta, divided by 360 times the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So that'll be 65 over 360 times pi times 4.5 squared. You can put, work that out on the calculator, write the fraction using the fraction button, and that gives me 11.4864 centimetres. We want to three significant figures, so that 8 will make that 4 a 5. So the final answer will be 11.5 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find uh, arc length and the area of a sector when the angle is measured in degrees. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.